Oh my goodness, we have a, a baler that does the wrap into this stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 20 mods for you, so literally half of what we had yesterday. For all platforms, we have five new and nine updates, and for PC and Mac, we have six new. Let's check them out. First off today, new mods for all platforms, we have the Lizard Veiler Combi STB-03P. And yes, this is a <laughs> automatic baler. It is a stationary round baler and wrapper for you guys. Super exciting, super awesome. The only thing is, you have to unload this bale. If that unloaded automatically, I'd be so happy. <laughs> Turn this on, you can see uh, the baler will hold uh, was that 4,000 liters grass something like that it's got a nice hopper in the front boom now they've all gone away and it is loading in so what it does is it'll load i think it's 4,000 liters in here something like that and then you're all good to go and i'm not sure what's going on with everything here let's jump into the store check it out so with this mod we have not one but two pieces of equipment the first piece of equipment is the actual hopper and baler itself this is the lizard stbo3p 4,000 liters, 110 horsepower required, 12 miles per hour, though you're not going anywhere. <laughs> you can change up oil color. You got white, you've also got black, pink, green, so all the stuff you would expect to see. But that's not the only thing that comes with this because along with it, we also need to get the stuff in it. Now, as you can see here, this will do grass, hay, and straw. So if you put in hay or straw, that is okay too. No worries there. Now, if we go up here, it's not going to wrap the straw, though. Probably won't wrap the hay either. You're also going to need this bad boy right here. What is this? This is going to allow everything to go from the ground up into the hopper. So that is nice. Let's actually do this. Let's go in. I want to see what happens. So we've had grass in there. Let's do dry grass. So now it's showing we've got hay. That is good. All right. We will go ahead and drop that bell oh it did not drop that bell oh now we have two bells inside of each other and i've messed it all up so let's see it says that we've got hay and it plops the bell out the back hay is gone and it is not wrapping it so we can unload that now of course you will need extra room to make sure that these bells come out but hay will not wrap something to keep in mind what about straw? Will straw do it? Well, let's find out and see. Plop in some straw. Automatically pops the bell out of the back. There it is. And no more straw in the hopper. And the straw bell does not wrap. So you could still use this to do things like that, though. It's not going to wrap your hay and it's not going to wrap your straw. Only grass. This will not take chaff, by the way. Uh, I've tried that. It just doesn't work. One neat thing is you could jump in this. So this can actually drive. So let's take this, we'll pull it up here. You would expect it to be able to hook up though. I have not been able to get this to hook up at all. Usually they will, but I can't get it to do it. That's okay, so don't worry. It doesn't break anything. So there's no worries there. Then we just take this. We put a little bit of grass in here. See, there we go, grass windrow. And then we're just gonna dump it right here. We will need to make sure that everything is turned on. So when we come over here, we jump in here, make sure, okay, the belt is turned on, that's good. We'll jump in the tractor, make sure this is doing as well, baler is turned on, there's nothing else we can do there, perfect. So we jump back in here, we do a force dump, please do a force dump. Uh, <laughs> oh, DJ broke it. All right, we got it reset now, I'm not sure what in the world was going on, but we come right here, we can do a force dump and more or less, it will pick up as much as it possibly can, goes up into the baler, loads in 4,000 liters, and you can see right here, the baler's already turning and it's rocking and rolling, looking good. And the neat thing is it doesn't actually like, quote unquote, take time. It just fills this up. And as soon as that hopper fills, bloop, bell pops out the back. This will go disappearing, and this will start wrapping. Neat, huh? Now there's one thing that I want to try with this because I have an idea that may keep you from having to do this. Cause <laughs> This is a little bit much right now. As I'm driving over to my next location, one thing I'm seeing, um, this works regardless <laughs> if it's on or not. Something to maybe keep in mind there. There we go. Okay, 
we'll get that undone. We need to fold the baler up so it's a little bit easier to transport here. And time to break it. So let's unfold the baler. There we go. We are stationary. We want to... <laughs> hey! Yeah, this works. That works real well. So you can take this under your multi-fruit silo. <laughs> take it. Fill it back up with grass. There we go. And from here, you just make bales right straight out. Now, I have tried to do this with normal balers. It will work from the purchase anywhere point, but it won't actually work with this. So this makes me real, real happy. Oh, I've already broke it. That's another bale. Great. Little less. <laughs> Just keep doing this. Put it right here. Let them roll off. This is one of the coolest things that I'm super, super excited about this. It's not the only like stationary round bale wrapper combo thing that's in progress right now but it's the one that we've got, and I'm pretty excited about it. Next new mod for all platforms, we have the MAN or the MAN TGS Milk Truck. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. So we talked about this at Farm Sim News a couple weeks ago. It is finally here. 500 horsepower, 400 liters of fuel, 55 miles an hour, 13,500 liter capacity, but we could change that rim color. We got a bunch of stuff through here. One thing, some of these rim colors, uh, we, we already have these. <laughs> <laughs> like all of these we already have they're the same colors as these right here so just know that in advance there is no chrome which is an unfortunate thing but it is what it is we'll just stick with the MAA classic and of course main color you've got all colors again that we have as part of the base game lizard pink lizard pink these are all normal colors but we do have some extra colors as well like blue metallic almost nitro blue i do love it you got some warrior colors in here as well need to have those in design color this is going to be the back now we've got a couple different ones through here so you can see design pink metallic what happens if we change that to normal pink well guess what stays in metallic so you will have a metallic back there regardless of what you do wheel brands we have trailer Borg. lizard tires back and forth decals we have no decal we have German, we have an English, French, or no decal. This will only do milk and water. So do keep that in mind. And the capacity, large or load, this is 13,500. Or you could do a large capacity, uh, 18,005. Or you could just go all the way to the top. So small, medium, and large. So 13,500, 18,500, or 25,000 uh, liter capacities depending on what you want to do with it. Next up, new mod from SMI modding team. We have the Irmo Hurricane, one of the nicest mods that we've ever gotten. Detail, absolutely incredible. The SMI mod team, second to none. These guys are phenomenal. With this, 200 horsepower required, five meter work with at 13 miles per hour. It is a disc arrow, so that's where you're going to be finding it. Main color, you have either white or gray. And then rim color, you either have white or black. This looks so good. Oh, man. Designs right here. We have cage roller. You've also got the packer roller, double shell roller, and back to cage roller. And then design, we have the Hurricane 500, but boop, add an extension. Now, we have the Hurricane 6. Six meter working with instead of five meter working with. Yeah. At the end of the day, this is a disc hero, so keep that in mind. It's going to cultivate your fields, but... If you want to do it in style with a beautifully detailed piece of equipment, this is the one you want. Our next to last new mod for all platforms today is the John Deere DN1006. This is a dispenser of solid fertilizer, lime, and manure. So you can do all three of those. 6,000 liter capacity or 8,000 liter capacity. So you do have that extended. I think I said in a farm sim news that I thought maybe this would be around 10,000 liters, something like that. Nope, 6,000 or 8,000 liters. So nothing too massive. 125 horsepower is required for this. It does have a 30 meter spread. So that may be something you want to keep in mind. That is a massive spread and it will do it at 12 miles per hour. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Lizard RFA 7000 Cultivator by Farm Centra Soul. Now, they haven't been working on this very long, and it is confirmed to not be a John Deere. So here you go, 78 horsepower, seven meter working with at 21 miles per hour. That is very, very fast. Main colors through here, all of them? Is that a good, uh, that a good representation? Yeah, all of them absolutely all of them i love it i love it so much so what makes this fancy fancy yeah fancy is a good word again seven meter working with so pretty good 78 horsepower required not a lot 
at 21 miles per hour. That's faster than some tractors that we have in game. This thing is insane. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. We start with the John Deere XX10G. This bad boy right here as an update change log of 1.001. Second arm has been inverted. There you go. Second arm has been inverted. Did that just update release yesterday? Next mod update for all platforms today is the Cotton Pack Brazil by Connect Modding. Super excited to see this one. This one is crazy. Changelog 1.1. Multicolor has been added for the base and the B11 and the trans, uh, trans module. You've got optional tires for the John Deere 9996. Here we have design basic and star fire. You put that on there. Wheel setups. You have a transport tire. You have double wheels and back and forth between those. They've also applied wear improvements to the John Deere 9996. They've adjusted the bell getting tangled on the B11 and the base capacity is now 8,000 liters. The B11 is 32,000 liters. So let's jump out. Let's go into tools. Let's go into cotton technology and see what we can find in here. So as we mentioned, the base is now, it's the same size, but it is now a capacity of 8,000 liters versus four and the B11 or, or the EB11 rather is a 32,000 liter bell now versus any of the other. And you could change the colors, which is pretty darn cool. You could change the exact same colors here as well. Next mod update is going to be the Fent 900 Gen 6 mod 2020. Unfortunately, I have never been able to get this in game. I think I have a mod conflict. I have no idea what's going on, but I can't find it. I don't have it. It is nowhere to be found on my mod folder ever, unfortunately. But we do have a change log of 3.1.0.1. Fix the bugs, add a normal map to fin fr front fender, fix the invisible decals, and fix the front window. We've got updates to the Samson SG and TGX. Both of these bad boys right here. Change log 1.1. Manure system for PC only. Added configuration for the Clausaria 4000-5000 G2. So that is all there now, and they have been corrected to the right length. We got an update to the MAN TGX4 Special version 1.001, corrected the version uploaded, mod description has been edited, and the truck textures are the original from Giants. We also have an update to the Lizard Rear Pallet Fork. This is going to be version 1.1, add a new spec map, add a new normal maps, improve the model, minor errors have been fixed, new model icon, and new store icon. And an update to the Machinery Shed. This is going to be version 1.1.1, fix the floating decal. Cow. Next to last mod update for all platforms today is the Red Brick Garage. This is going to be version 1.1. New store and icon, new tip collision. They've also added version with magazine and added lights. And your last mod update for all platforms today is the Seed Factory by Shabov, the VSR modding sir. This is going to be version 1.1. Now you could choose between adding digestate or molasses, and they've corrected the type of filling of the grain discharge point. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today, we start with G. GTX and their farm storage sheds. These small metal sheds provide a convenient way to store your farm supplies. Pallets can be respawned on demand by using the built-in menu interface. Buildings use the original purpose-built object storage Lua, so no extra scripting add-ons or mods are required. <coughs> Global company. Modified pallet <laughs> capacities will be accepted and will respawn in the same order as they are delivered. Price is going to be $11,400 per each. Maintenance costs $6 per day for each. We have three different versions. The first one is a storage for 30 seeds, 30 lime, 30 fertilizer pallets, or big bags. Storage shed number two, storage for 15 liquid fertilizer or 15 liquid herbicide tanks. And shed number three, storage for 30 chicken food, 30 horse food, and 30 pig food pallets or big bags. Seasons, the rooftop snow will be added when using seasons in snowy conditions. Next new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Kraz 258. Oh yeah, nice truck right here. Beautiful truck, 240 horsepower, 330 liters of fuel, 41 miles per hour. Rim color, well, you got them all, don't you? Yeah, you do. You got them all. You've also got some colors to match as well. So we got some nice custom colors through there. Base came gray. Always a good thing to have. No chrome. Do keep that in mind. Main color. Same colors through here. So you could choose. Make a match. I like that. Looks pretty good. And design color. What do we got for design color? It's going to be the tanks at the bottom. Now, this would be very nice as chrome, but hey, it is what it is. Design. We have standard. We have with guards on the front. Yep, guards on the front. We have an extinguishers and all license plate. We have no license plate. We have the USSR, Ukraine, Russia, Germany, Great Britain, France, Poland, USA. Got the Texas on there or no plate. Attachers, standard attachers, trailer hitch or back to standard again. 
You've got that engine set up. So we got the 258, which will give you 240 horsepower. And we've got an upgraded engine, which doesn't change anything. Otherwise, beautiful truck right here. It is a semi truck, so it has the fifth wheel attachment on the back. Do what you need to do. Next up, we have the Lizard T25. Beautiful tractor right here. So this has 30 horsepower, 53 liters of fuel, 17 miles per hour. Rim color, well, you got a bunch of grays, blacks, and browns. That's what you got right through there. Let's go with the original silver design color. Well, that's going to be the body of the tractor. So you could choose if you want to make it match or if you want to make it gray or black, something like that. You could do that easily. And then main color, of course, I think you guys know what this is, the main color of the tractor. Design, we have nothing. We have a license plate, which is going to add it to the back. We have working, uh, working lights or both of those. Design, we have without. Standard, peak, A3, don't know how to say that, or <laughs> without. Basically, you have different cab options, which is cool. We'll set up standard wheels. We have uh, wheel number two, which changes the wheels in the front. Y number one, which is gonna make the rear, rear tires wide, adds that second option for the front. We're back to standard again. Wides are not crazy big, but it is nice to have that option. Front loader, yes or no? Holy cow, that is something else right there, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> engine setup, we have a tw uh, 30 horsepower, and we can get a 31 horsepower. So basically, we have T25 1 and 2, and T25A 1 and 2. Weights, without weights, we have weight 1, 2, 3, 4, or without. Without definitely looks like there's a weight on there. Uh, it is it does have a hitch on the front, so that is nice to see. And that is all the customization for the T25. Next up is Borga Hall. This is PC only. Uh, you would expect something like this to be all platforms. Nonetheless, it's a metal hall where you can store anything that you want, whatever you can put in there. Dimensions are 45 or 54, 45. Wow. Yep. Numbers uh, 45.5 in length and 18.5 in width. Price is going to be $95,000. Maintenance is five bucks per day, and it is seasons ready, which is great. Next to last mod today is the Real Wood Harvester mod. This mod expands functions of all wood harvesters in the game. Two new keys for manually pressing, delimbing the tree forward or backward. New key for changing cut length down. Current length of remaining tree can be cut as displayed in the F1 menu. No automatic cutting of the auto delimbing mode. You need to press a key again. You can open settings menu with the same options. Generate wood chips, small amount of wood chips are dropped on the ground when delimbing or cutting. That is pretty cool. Delimbing accuracy, number of branches can be removed, 70 to 100% of them. Minimum and maximum cut length and cut length step for current vehicle show or hide mod action. In the F1 menu, all controls can be set in your control settings. This is going to be an absolute game changer for those of you that do logging. I'm so excited for the logging community with this mod. At your last mod today, we have Loader Vehicles AI. With this mod, the helpers will be able to drive your loader vehicles, just placing the vehicle straight in front of the heap and press H or higher worker. If you want to unload the material onto the ground, press Control and I before you hire the worker, just like you normally would. If the, uh, the helper will drive and complete when there is nothing else to load. Very cool mod. That's going to be super helpful. Well, guys, that is going to be the end of today's new mod video. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you guys are curious, we will be doing a channel member live stream later today and tomorrow. We will be live streaming on Facebook, the Farm Sim Show with Clutch Simulations featuring the Formal Pickle and Austin Farmer. Very exciting. I'll be set. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.